morning church we are so grateful so grateful that you decide to join us this morning in God's house everyone is always welcome in God's house so we say welcome no matter where you are and how and what device you use to connect with us this morning for in God's house 
We are all connected. Let us praise him and rejoice in it. Please note that our session is being recorded. Therefore, please make yourself, <clears throat> mute yourself unless called upon. Muting cuts down on the squawking sound that you hear when most participants are unmuted. Those squawking noises sound like the Aflac duck or Donald duck. Take your pick. We can do without either of those characters, so mute yourself. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are a loving, gracious God. Thank you that you've offered us forgiveness and the gift of new life in you. Thank you that your love is perfect. It never fails and that nothing, nothing can separate us from your love. We pray that our lives would be filled and overflowing with the power of your love so that we can make a difference in this world and bring honor to you. We ask for your help in reminding us that the most important things are not what we do outwardly. It's not based on talent or gift, but the most significant thing we can do in this life is simply to love you and to choose to love others. Lord, thank you that your love is patient. Help us show patience with those around us. Lord, thank you that your love is kind. Help us to extend kindness to others. Lord, thank you that true love is not jealous. Help us cast aside feelings of jealousy or hatred towards others. We love you, Lord, and we need you today and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture reading this morning will be read by Miss Vicki Jeter. After that, Pastor Selena will deliver our message this morning. Good morning. I will be reading Psalms 139, verses 13 through 18, and then Proverbs 17, verse 22. <clears throat> you made all of the delicate inner parts of my body and knitted me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know. You watch me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, God? oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They're outnumbered the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Proverbs 17, Verse 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. These words I say in God's holy name, amen. Praise God, thanks be to God. And thank you, uh, Sherwood, for that wonderful welcome and prayer as well. Now let us prepare to Hear the word from the Lord. Amen. Reverend Selena Johnson here from Mount Zion United Methodist Church. Today we continue in our series on healing from post-pandemic stress. Although we started six weeks ago where the pandemic seemed to be ending, now we're right back in it. And so let's just claim our healing even in the midst of this struggle. Amen. 
Let us pray. Glorious God, we give you thanks for each and every breath, for each and every moment of life that you allow us to have. You've been so good to us, oh God. You've, you've healed us, you've kept us during this struggle, during this worldwide pandemic. And so we pray right now, oh God, that we would claim life and laughter and love. I pray, oh God, that these words out of my mouth and the meditations on all hearts that hear this message would be acceptable in your sight because you're our strength. You're our Redeemer. Amen. Today's message is entitled, Live, Laugh, Love. Live, Laugh, Love. Now, um, this, uh, th this phrase did not originate in the home decor section of Target, as you might think. <laughs> This actually comes from a 1904 poem by Bessie Anderson Stanley entitled Success. And she writes this, he achieved success who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much. Success is if you've lived well, laughed often, and loved much. And so once again, as we've been finding in this series about healing, we find scientific proof that this is true, um, that when you live, laugh, and love, you're, it improves your health. But we've also got biblical proof as well. Hallelujah. Did you know that God wants this success for you? So let's break down those three L's. The first is live, live. The Bible declares in Psalm 34, verse 8, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. This verse is so rich. It's so sensual. I love it. It appeals to your senses, your sense of taste, your sense of smell, your sense of sight. To me, this says experiencing God to the fullest makes your life rich. And I also interpret it to mean live life to the fullest. Have a voracious appetite for the things that God has planned for you, for the things that God has called you into. Live, eat it up, gobble it up, gobble up God. Amen. See all the sights, you know, smell all the smells. Go have the aromatherapy. Sing out loud. Learn to dance. Dr. Bob Jennings, who um, was our one of our presenters at the Next Level Academy that the Baltimore Washington Conference did, where I've been getting a lot of the material for this series. Dr. Bob Jennings said this. He said, life is much better and enjoyed than endured. Life is better enjoyed than endured. We are not here. God did not create us just to trudge through so that we can get to the next weekend and get some sleep. I know there's ups and downs, but life should not be all dull drudgery or a constant struggle to get to the next phase and to, to think that maybe finally we'll get some enjoyment there. The psalmist has declared, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. It's a very active thing. You do it. You taste it. You grab it. So every day, find something to enjoy. Tip number one for today this is our practical tip, is to move. Simply move. When stress is getting the best of you, it's time to lace up a pair of sneakers and go for a walk. Hallelujah. Walking has been proved to reduce stress and alleviate depression. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, individuals who exercise are less prone to anxiety and depression than their couch potato counterparts. Even if you can't do a lot, friends, every little bit helps. Studies have also shown that a 10-minute walk may be just as beneficial as a 45-minute workout. Walking also offers a number of other benefits including helping to maintain a healthy weight, right? Strengthening the bones and muscles, improving the coordination and reducing risk of certain uh, conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure. 
how many people in our community, the African American community, are dealing with diabetes and high blood pressure. Take a walk. Just 10 minutes will do. So if you're like me and you put on some of those pandemic pounds, right? It's time to get to stepping or even to dancing. Uh-huh. Dancing is a wonderful form of exercise that is fun, social, and a great stress reliever as well. Whether you're into ballroom dance or salsa or country or our slide says disco. It must be an old slide that they used. I'm using these from Next Level or disco because we haven't had disco in a long time. Um, get on the dance floor and encourage your body to produce natural painkillers called endorphins. Yes, a rush of endorphins can make you feel relaxed and happy. Are there any of you out there Leslie Sansone fans? <laughs> Leslie Sansone is this a uh, walk at home guru. She started creating walk at home workouts way back, like, I don't know, 20 years ago. But she's always talking about those endorphins. You want those creative juices to your brain. You want those happy chemicals to go to your brain. So walk, 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 walk. She said she's so enthusiastic and she's very happy. So she's like proof that this really works. But what I want to say to you that who designed the body to work this way? It was God. It is amazing. Praise God for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Look at Psalm 139, which we heard read today. Psalm 139 and verse 14, it says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know well. So live, live, walk, dance, move. Our second L for uh, in the, this uh, L triumvirate is to laugh. <laughs> laugh. Scientists are now just catching up with our amazing God once again. Studies have found that comic relief is a real physical relief. It's actually true. It's a bio biological chemical reaction in laughing. Aha! <laughs> in our second Bible scripture for today, which we heard from Proverbs 17 and 22, it says that a merry heart does good, just like a medicine. But a broken spirit dries the bones. Mm, it's all physical. In other words, laughter is a medicine. Or some interpretations even say laughter makes medicine even better. So if you want your meds to work, laugh a little. <laughs> well, scientific research confirms God's word. There's some truth in the old saying, laughter is the best medicine. A good chuckle reduces our stress response and relieves tension. According to the Mayo Clinic, right, more researchers, according to the Mayo Clinic, laughter stimulates people's hearts and lungs by supplying fresh oxygen. Studies have also shown that laughing revs up the immune system, relieves pain, and makes it easier to cope with stressful situations. Mm. And we sure have been dealing with a lot of stressful situations in these times of pandemics. But it's okay to laugh, even though it's serious, it's okay to laugh sometimes. In fact, it is recommended to laugh for healing. Yes, uh, laughter is good just like a medicine, but guess what? If you can't laugh out loud, you can just smile. God is amazing, y'all. Even just smiling, even just that muscle of smiling releases chemical reactions in your body. God is amazing. Somehow the facial muscles are engaged in your mouth when you smile and creates a biochemical reaction. Yes, when you smile, your brain releases what's called neuropeptides. And it goes right to your brain and it helps you fight off stress. So smile. You look so much better. I like how modern day psalmist Kirk Franklin puts it in his song, I Smile. He said, you look so much better when you smile. So smile. Oh, 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 oh friends. 
Science is finally catching up with God's word. Hallelujah. Did you know that scientists have also found that people who laugh 40 minutes a day, three times a week, are less likely to get dementia. Yes, it's true. It improves your brain functioning as well. Laughter is good, just like a medicine. So here's tip number two for today. Find yourself some comic relief in these times. Find yourself some comic relief. The next time you're feeling worried, try watching something funny on television planning a night out at a comedy club, or browsing some memes. Wearing a smile and laughing out loud, even when you're feeling down, can improve your mood and reduce your stress levels. I personally recommend, if you have Netflix, I recommend this series called um, Family Reunion. And Rachel turned me on to this. It's uh, with Loretta Devine, and it's, it's based in church, so I can recommend that one. It's on Netflix. It's a silly sitcom. But it had some moments that just made me bust out laughing out loud. Just really lovely. Beloved, we could spend all day, every day, thinking about how bad this pandemic is. Thinking about how bad things are. You can find every uh, scary, sad, infuriating, unjust uh, story in the news all around the world with just a click of a button, right? And so sometimes we need to give our brains a break. We need comic relief and laughter to ease the pain so we can smile again. So find some comic relief this week. Laugh out loud or just smile. That'll do. Tip number three, which they gave us in the series, is a, is, is a limited one. It's just for you pet lovers. Tip number three is adopt a pet. <laughs> yes. Furry friends can make you smile. Some people even say scaly friends can make you smile, but I'm not one of those people, y'all. Some people say feathery flying friends can make you smile, but again, I'm not one of those people. But furry friends, yes. Listen up. This tip is only for the animal lovers out there. If you're an animal lover, then you know there's nothing like snuggling up to a cuddly furry friend after a rough day. Adopting a pet saves a life and can provide you with constant companionship, entertainment, and unconditional love. And the benefits of pet ownership aren't just anecdotal. So again, there's science behind this that proves that it's helpful and healing. Nowadays, people can, people can argue with the airlines. They can argue that they need their pet with them for, for psychological healing. And so people have little pets in, you know, in, on the plane, in the bags. It's been scientifically proven. Some people begin to look like their pets as they, uh, as, they, as they have their pets for a long time. You know that's true. People begin to look like their dog or their cat or even their fish. <laughs> Some people even style their pet to look like them. <laughs> Some of you will think about this one later and get it. Okay, that's not my pet, friends. That's not my pet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move to our third L in the triumvirate here, love. Most people, when they uh, see those slogans on the pillows and the posters and the mugs in the home goods store, when it says live, laugh, love, and they see love, they probably think of that romantic love. That's the eros. In Greek, that's the eros. Um, and if you found that true love with your partner for life and you are happy, that that's wonderful. However, there are people who are still searching for that kind of love. And there are people who may, may never find that kind of love connection. There are folks who perhaps had that kind of love connection, but their uh, soulmate is, is no longer with them. And so if that's you, don't tune out on me here. Uh, this L still applies to you. Because there are also two other kinds of love in the Greek. There's the philios love. That is the brotherly love. And so um, the city of Philadelphia is named uh, with that prefix, uh, the city of brotherly love, right? So your philios is your 
love relationships that are platonic like it might be the um the the, the parent child relationship or the siblings the brother sister or sister sister relationships or your friends your friends relationships right those are your filios and so in those relationships you should love madly as well yes tell those people you love them in fact that's tip number four today tell someone that you love one of your loved ones i love you simple words that can bring healing right now there's also friends praise god there's also that third type of love in the greek that's the agape love agape love is god's unconditional love you know what unconditional means it means it's not based on your performance it's not based on your achievements. It's not based on your successes. It's not based on how you look or how, or how physically fit you are or your age or your race. It's just God loving you just the way you are with all your faults, with all your failures, with all your flaws. Guess what? God still loves you. No strings attached. God is love. That's what the Bible tells us. And in response to this amazing agape gift of love, we should love God. Jesus has summarized it for us with two commandments, the great commandments. He says, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, everything hangs on these two commandments. Which brings me to tip number five for today. Tip number five today is love yourself. Do you love yourself? If so, be kind to yourself. That's what all these tips have been about for these past six weeks. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Encourage yourself. Even when other people try to discourage you, still love yourself. Even when other people try to disrespect you, love yourself. Don't let them bring you down. Say, I am loved. Do that with me right now. Place your hand on yourself. Say, I am loved. Affirm yourself. Say, I am loved. No matter what people say, I am loved. Love yourself by treating yourself to these simple tips that we've been um, reviewing in this series. And so the final tip, y'all ready for the final tip of the series? Tip number six for today. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. If you still dream it, then God can still make it happen through you. God's the one that put those dreams in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul, make you excited about it. So if you still dream it, guess what? God can still use you. I had a dream some 40 years ago uh, that began in me, and it's just now coming to fruition. I didn't think it was going to happen. Hopefully I'll be able to share with you in, in, in the upcoming uh in sometime very soon, but I didn't think it was going to be possible. I thought it was always going to remain a dream in my mind. But God, our God is amazing. God showed up and showed out with just the right thing, with just the right people, with just the right tools to make it happen at just the right time. God's timing is amazing and perfect. I've also dreamed ever since I can remember of being a part of African-American healing in this country, emancipation. And perhaps somehow this might come true through being a part of this historic African-American church, this 205 year old African-American congregation through whom God has done amazing things. And now I get to be leading this church God is awesome and I am so grateful. 
when I first heard that I was going to come here, I, I was a little distressed, a little discouraged. But I came and I stood in Georgetown and I was standing there on the brick pavement and looking at this church that's in the middle of these houses. I was like, what is this place? I was, but I prayed. I prayed and God said, you're going to come here. I thought it was for one reason, but guess what? It was for another reason. Because God is able to do immeasurably more than we can think or imagine. And God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts and better than our thoughts. And so here I am, praise God. God knows, friends. God knows the, 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 steps, the steps you should take. So pray, pray without ceasing. So as you move and as you uh, tell somebody you love you, you love them, you find your comic relief this weekend, you might even adopt a pet this week, and loving yourself, never give up on your dreams. God put those in your heart, for it was God who formed you in your inward parts. God knit you together in your mother's womb. Praise God, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. This we know so well. God, you are too wonderful, too wonderful for us to give up on our lives. Thank you, God, for this amazing grace that you give. Thank you that you can bring us healing, even in the midst of pandemic. God, when we started this series six weeks ago, it felt like we were moving into a post-pandemic era. There was so much hope, God, but now, God, we find ourselves smack dab in the middle of it again. So give us the strength to carry on. Give us the courage, God, to carry on. Grant us the healing, God, in spite of it. Give us the wisdom for living and facing this hour. Grant us success, O oh God, that we might live well, laugh often, and love much as we are loved by you. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, friends. Amen. For our invitation today, I just want to remind you that God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, 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 friends, believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so this is your moment. If you happen to be here, and you have not uh, received Christ for yourself, you've not recognized that God died for you. For all the times you missed the mark or messed it up, God said, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna save you from that. And so if you wanna pray, that if you are here and that's you, I invite you to pray this prayer today. God, I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me to live the perfect life in my place because I've messed it up, God, and I've missed the mark, God, and I am sorry. I ask you to forgive me and to save me. Amen. Amen. I believe you prayed that prayer today that God has entered your heart and that you are his and he is yours eternally. Praise God. We now have uh, are going to be blessed with another selection from our choir. Amen. Lord, we've come to worship.
church, we've reached the point in our service where that we have an opportunity to re return some of the blessings that God has bestowed on us. So we ask you to support Mount Zion's mission and ministry through our website, uh, mountzionumcdc.org, click on giving. Through PayPal, sent to mountzionumc.dc at gmail.com. Through Cash App, cash tag equal, uh, equal dollar sign, capital M, little t, Z-I-O-N, capital U-M-C, Georgetown. Through the mail, Mount Zion, UMC, 1334, 29th Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2007. Please bow your head for prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you can satisfy our every desire and need. Your word says that we should give honor to you with the first fruits of our wealth. Accept our tithes and offerings as a gift of worship to you. Multiply what we give for the effective growth of your kingdom. May Christ dwell in our hearts through faith so that we, being rooted and grounded in, may have the strength to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. May we be filled with all the fullness of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that offering and that and offering up that prayer for our uh, what we are receiving and are going to receive electronically. Thank you so much. So at this time, I'd like to welcome you. If you have, if you are visiting today or if um, you're visiting online with us, you can contact us at that same website, mtzionumcdc.org, and you just click on the contact us button. We would love to hear from you here that you uh, visited with us and, um, and just know who you are and how we can pray for you as well. So please do that if you are visiting today and welcome, and I hope that you are having a wonderful worship with us today. Uh, now we like to go into our celebration of birthdays and anniversaries. So um, if you have a birthday in August, just uh, unmute yourself. Or if you want to give uh, somebody else a birthday shout out for August, just unmute yourself and say uh, who you are and um, who you are shouting out and their birthday. Hi, Mr. Lena. This is, this is Gail. Hi, My Gail. son's birthday. Hi. He, his birthday is August 18th, and my son will be 31 years old. Oh, okay. Amen. Praise Thank God. you for the birthday card. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Hi, this, Miley. Hi, this is Janice Davis, and my birthday is August the 14th, and I'm here with my son-in-law, who's Matar. He's turning 55, so you can do some math here. And his birthday is today. Oh, okay. Well, happy birthday to him on today and um, happy birthday to you as well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anybody uh, else want to shout out August hey, birthdays? Hey, Pastor. It's uh, Larry Smith. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for my birthday card, August the 2nd. And I'm uh, double sixes. <laughs> <laughs> you reached the two sixes. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Happy birthday month to you as well. This is Vicki. Hey, I have two birthdays this month, both my middle girl and my baby girl. One is the 20, one is the 18th and one is the 23rd. Okay, so you got two August babies, 18th and 23rd. Oh, happy birthday to them. Happy birthday to them. This is Barbara Thompson. Um, and my niece Wanda's birthday is August the 11th. Okay. I don't remember how old she is, but she's younger than I am. Oh, you right from there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to her. And her birthday, August 11th, is the same birthday as my husband's. So shout out to my husband, Pastor Paul Johnson. Uh, his birthday is August 11th as well. 
Good morning, everyone. Giving a shout out to our oldest daughter, Lauren, who will be 22 on August 24th. James getting old. <laughs> I'm still the same age. That's right. <laughs> She'll be 22. <laughs> it's funny, Wendy, how these kids, they just keep getting older, but I don't, we, we just stay the same. Stay I the know, same. right? right. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to her. Anybody else that want to shout out August birthdays? Okay. Hi, this is Joe again. I just wanted to add, I have two sisters, uh, one August the 5th and the other August the 11th. So they're having birthdays this month as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So both of them had the same birthday month. Hallelujah. Happy yep. birthday to them. And you reminded me, my sister's birthday is this month too. So August 20th, shout out to my sister, Lisa. <laughs> Happy birthday to her. Anybody else, August birthdays? Okay, I wanna give a shout out my my niece, Serena. She turned 18 on August the 6th. All right, well, happy birthday to her. <laughs> she's she's officially, well, I don't know she's officially grown, but um, 18 is a milestone. So <laughs> happy birthday to her. You might have to reach 21 before you're official these days. Okay. All righty. Let me see if I can pull up my, my birthday video. Okay, August birthdays, even though it's hot, I'm gonna give you the penguin song today. There's just a bit of it. Oh gosh. That face that is usually covered by her phone. Okay. Ah, I had a technical glitch right here, y'all. It went to the wrong video. Okay. We need to go back to the happy birthday song. Okay, here we go. Hang in there, hang in there, August birthday people. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Okay, for some reason, pets have been on my mind this month. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Any anniversaries this month? Anniversaries. Anybody celebrating an August anniversary? Michael? Yeah. Pastor, I would like to, on behalf of my Uncle Buddy, and right now some is Richard McDaniel Jr., but Uncle Buddy, he and his wife, my Aunt Jean, on, also on Lauren's birthday, August 24th, we have been married 65 years. Ooh, woo 65 years for Uncle Buddy and Aunt Jean. Jean. <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, congratulations to them. I don't know if I should try to share this screen again. Oh, 
Well, are there other August birthday, August anniversaries? Any other August anniversaries? Uh, yeah, Janet got married on August the twenty fourth, so she has an anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Who did she marry? <laughs> Some guy, you know. Some guy we don't know, but Janet, happy anniversary to you, Janet. <laughs> Two folks who didn't have have sense enough to know what they were doing. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, congratulations. You, do I dare ask you how many years? 37. 36. 36. 36 years. Okay. Well, happy anniversary to you, too, as well. You, August 24th was a day to get married, I tell you. Hopefully you'll make it to 64 as well. I'm gonna try this again, y'all. Let me see. Let me see if this will work. <laughs> Some of you might remember this one from way back. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. For a cheerful toast and fill it, happy anniversary. But be careful you don't spill it, happy anniversary. Oh. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Fred, you remembered. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was God, the Flintstones. That was, <laughs> that was a throwback from way back in the day. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Um, it is now time for us to, uh, uh, let's just recap some of the announcements for today. Patrice, if you would share our announcements, and then we'll have prayer requests and praise reports. All right, once again, thank you for worshiping with us on today and, uh, deal and, and, and being with us for this whole series, Healing from Post-Pandemic Stress. Remember to live, laugh, love, believe, dream, imagine, have faith, have courage, and hope in happiness. Amen. Let's go to the next one. We did our birthdays and anniversaries for today. And go to the next one. Um, we are still continuing to serve the shelter challenge on the third Saturdays of the month. We had a great meeting where we have volunteers for a lot of, for August, but we're still looking for volunteers for September, October, November, December. So please contact Sylvia if you are able to serve in that way. Next one. Student Sunday, this is new, so pay attention. So if you have a student who um, graduated from uh, high school or college um, or students who are going back to school, we want to celebrate them on August 29th because they have had quite a year and a half, right? So please send um, to Sherelle, I'm going to put Sherelle on the spot there. I don't know if she agreed to this or not, but please send her their information. Um, the details are in the e-blast. Let's go to the next one. Thank you cards for God. We got another thank you card. Oh, the, well, this, that's the picture from last week, but we have one more thank you card for God. So I'm glad that we are giving God the thanks and praise and being grateful. <laughs> they look beautiful on the fridge there. Let's go to the next one. You can still send yours, by the way. Worship leaders and scripture readers. You see, Sherwood, you see how anointed and wonderful it was today for Sherwood to be our worship leader and for Vicki to read our scriptures. Wonderful. You can do that too. It's an easy way to volunteer. Remember, volunteering is good for the soul and the brain. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, yes, another way to volunteer at Mount Zion and help what God is doing is to uh, help us with our hybrid worship as we come in uh, and, and, and continue with that. We did a test on August 1st and we found out that we need some folk. We need greeters to be at the door, taking temperatures, um, taking down names, making sure we know who everybody who's there because we want to be safe and handing out masks, hand sanitizer. So please, 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 if you can volunteer in that way, uh, please let me know. Also, we need some technical folk, somebody to just let people into the Zoom room. You just click a button, admit this person, admit this person, it's easy. Or to be the, um, 
the, the monitor of the TV so that we can see all the people on Zoom uh, as we are sitting there in person as well. That's gonna be a true hybrid experience. It's gonna be wonderful. And we've had, um, we've had a lot of success with putting our things out on, out on social media. We had a couple of weeks ago, we had 175 people view through our, um, our service. So we want it to be excellent and we need you to participate and, and to jump in and volunteer, amen? Let's go to the next one. And again, that's September 5th is when we are planning the grand reopening celebration at Mount Zion. Let's go to the next one. Planned giving, that information is also in your e-blast. You can give in legacy to Mount Zion after you leave here. Let's go to the next one. And we are part of the Amazon Smiles program. You have to put in, you have to go to the Amazon Smiles website not just plain amazon.com. And then you put in a Mount Zion comma Washington United Methodist Church. Okay, next one. And we are on all the social media plat platforms so check us out, but especially our Facebook and our YouTube pages. Next one. And again, as I said, if you're visiting, please contact us and let us know. Next one. And there is the contact information again. Okay, thank you so much, Patrice, for sharing that and for being uh, our co-host for this whole time where we've been, uh, Patrice has just been doing a marvelous job. Let's, let's give God a hand praise for all that she has been doing. It is time for our prayers and praise reports. So if you have a prayer request you'd like to lift up or a praise report, to God, please share with us. Pastor, this is Gail. I know most people heard of the teacher being shot down on 7th and O. He is one of my co-workers and I just asked for prayer for his, his fiance and his uh, children. We were excited about the wedding coming up because both of them worked at my school. Now we are disappointed and sad because it's a funeral now. So just keep the Sanchez family in your prayers. Oh, that is awful. That is that is awful. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, this is Dolores. Uh, I also have sad news. Um, my former classmate and friend, um, Mildred Musgrove, um, lost her son to senseless gun violence. He was the victim of a drive-by shooting uh, in, in Washington. And I ask that uh, we have prayers for the Musgrove family. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And I'm so sorry to hear about that as well. I'd like to also add uh, my friend, uh, Reverend Regina Clay, who lost her son to gun violence in Baltimore this past week as well. It's just, mm. I'd like to also ask for prayers for the family of Bishop Beverly Shimano, who died this week. Um, she was a, a, a woman that I watched uh, and worked with well before she was elected a bishop and uh, now she's gone. So I would ask for prayers for her family. Okay. Thank you for sharing that and, and um, our condolences to the bishop, the bishop's family. Anybody else would like to share a praise report or a prayer request? Hi, this is Crystal Miles. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Never mind. No, no, Crystal, go ahead. Um, I just had a praise report um, on Friday after 18 years. I finally became an American citizen. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> crystal, 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 congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to America. <laughs> again and again. <laughs> that is great news. Praise God. Are there others who would like to share? Oh, Pastor, I'd like a praise report. Uh, I live in D.C. that had the area with the um, uh, boiled water alert because of possible contaminated water, and that's been lifted. So now we can 
take real showers and baths and wash our hair and all. And so um, oh I'm God. happy that I've taken care of that. Yeah, we had to wow. boil the water just in. So I'm glad that's that's over and everybody and the seniors um, trying to get bottled water to them and all. Not uh, I'm not a senior, but um, you know that's been an effort to make sure that they are hydrated and um, and they have clean water. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. I feel out of touch. I didn't know that there was a, a, a there was just a, there was a certain area that they didn't have um, clean water. Well, thank God that that has been restored. Wow. Leon, we got. That. Oh, add Leon to the to the uh, e-blast. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> we will do that. Anybody else before we look to the Lord in prayer? Hallelujah. Let us pray. God, you are amazing and you have created us fearfully and wonderfully. And so we give you thanks and praise. We continue to pray um, uh, for those who have lost this precious life that you've given us too soon, gone too soon, God. And we just, we cannot, we cannot wrap our minds around why this violence continues to persist and why uh, nothing seems to be getting done. Help us, oh God, to do whatever we can to eliminate gun violence, to help our country heal from this, uh, this terrible scourge. But we pray your mercy, oh God, on those who have been shot. We pray for Gail's coworker, the Sanchez family, um, as they mourn the loss of their loved one. We pray for Mildred, who lost her son to gun violence. We pray for uh, Reverend Regina, who lost her son to gun violence. Lord God, in your mercy, hear these prayers. God, we lift up uh, the family of Bishop uh, uh, Beverly, who passed away. And we pray for all those who will be missing her. We thank you for the life that she lived, the love that she gave, the mentorship and the inspiration that she was, oh God. Many condolences to her family. We give you praise, Lord. We, we give you praise, we give you honor for all the blessings that were spoken and that were not spoken, but especially for uh, our Crystal, who is now an American citizen. We pray, oh God, that this would open just many doors for her. And we thank you for asking for her continuing in prayer for all these years and persisting in prayer. We thank you, oh God, for, uh, for water. We thank you for food, for water, for life, for health, for strength. We just take it for granted for so long, God, until it's not there. And so we pray, oh God, that those who um, had the situation with the possibly contaminated water, we pray that uh, none of them would grow ill. We pray that uh, the water would, would continue to be safe. And we thank you for all those who helped out and were your hands and feet by delivering water to our seniors and to those who could not get out. We just thank you, God. We praise you. We can't praise you enough, God. We cannot love you enough. You outlove us, God. Your love never fails and never gives up. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We are going to be blessed with our closing song and then go to benediction.
Amen. Let's look to the Lord for benediction. Thank you, Jazz Trio, there for that uh, wonderful rendition of Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. Let's look to the Lord for benediction. May the light of God shine upon your life this week as you live, laugh, love. May God's light cause every work of darkness in your life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. May this same light expose you to every waiting favor and goodness of God this week. May you, anywhere you turn, may you be lifted up. May this week bring forth blessings, comfort, goodness, and breakthrough to your life. May you be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose root goes deep so that it flourishes and cannot be moved. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, friends, the tour team, we are going to come back. Let's come back at 1130 because it's 11. Oh, eight now. <laughs> See you all in a little bit. And uh, we will go to breakout rooms. I forgot to put that on my schedule. Breakout rooms for the rest of you all, and you can have a chat. Let's see. Where are my breakout rooms? <laughs> okay, whenever they update these apps. Okay, there it is, breakout room. There we go. Okay. You're invited to stay and chat for a few minutes in the breakouts. Okay.